Devotion series in Vrindavan 1972, when Prabhupada gave the Nectar of Devotion series for one month, there was one doubt that was plaguing me because we were putting so much effort into book distribution, but I'd always been taught when I was first joining that the parampara is like a link, a chain. And if you don't have the perfect link, if you're not initiated, you really can't go back to God. And so I had this doubt that we're distributing so many books, but these people will read them, but if they're not initiated, they can't go back to Godhead. So I followed Prabhupada from back Rupa Goswami Samadhi back into the courtyard, and just before Prabhupada took the steps up onto his, his courtyard, I, I presented this question to Prabhupada. I said, we're distributing so many books, but if, if people aren't initiated, then they can't go back to Godhead. And Prabhupada turned and looked at me right in the eyes, and he said, just by reading my books, they're initiated. And I thought that... <laughs> I, th <laughs> yeah, I, I, another example of, of compassion, because I thought that was just an incredible example of compassion. The Archbishop of uh, uh, the Anglican Church had come to see Prabhupada, and I was fortunate enough to be in that room. And Prabhupada literally opened up the whatever it is and allowed Vaikuntha to flow into that room. And the whole room was transformed into Vaikuntha. And he literally melted this archbishop. And the next day there was a paper, you remember Madhudvisa Mukta? We have nothing to fear from the Hare Krishnas. That was, that, was in, that was in the headlines. One time I had the fortune in Vrindavan to go into uh, Radhadamadhar, Prabhupada's rooms there. And Shruti Kirti, of course, was there. And Shruti Kirti was so kind to a lot of the smaller devotees. You know, he would allow us to come in to see Prabhupada. You know? And I'm eternally grateful to Shruti Kirti for that. Uh, but anyway, I got to go in to see Prabhupada. And I had this one question, because I think Narn Narayan had told me that the moon was self-illuminating. Silly question, but I went in before and I asked Prabhupada, I said, some devotee had told me that the moon is self-illuminating. And Prabhupada put his hand like this. He closed his eyes for about two minutes. And then he opened his eyes. He said, I don't find that. <laughs> and and I, it was such an, I don't know either he went to the moon. Or, or, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs>